So I, I basically went through and uh, I wanted to figure out if there was any sort of merit behind how Adobe fixed uh, click jacking from the camera and microphone perspective. So I wrote a little demo. Um, this requires some social engineering, of course, uh, as click jacking always does, um, or typically does. Um, but uh, basically all this does is it launches another window. It says, click here to go to Google to see something cool. And the user's like, OK, what, what's cool about this? And they're like, oh, this is the thing that's cool. And you're like, oh, neat. So then you basically click twice. And what it does, the first click uh, instantiates the plugin, and the second one instantiates the camera. So at this point, the user would be like, "You're still." They wouldn't see this thing in the background. They wouldn't see the 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 camera. That's I made it semi visible, so you could just see what's going on. But they'd say, "Oh, well, Google wants access to my camera microphone." You typically have something other than detect malice.com. You'd have you know. Uh, googlecamera.com or something like that. <clears throat> and so they'd say allow because they don't know better and they just think this is some random Google property uh, and poof, um, you have yourself click jacked. And the reason why this works, um, if you view the source, basically all this does, it's really, really simple piece of code, <laughs> very scary simple piece of code. Uh, it just has a link. That link um, is basically a JavaScript command. Uh, and all it does is it opens Google, uh, so the target where you know, you're social engineering them thinking that this is a legitimate site. So if they look in the URL structure, they'll go, yeah, that actually is Google. And then, um, and then it does uh, a command called check. Uh, that check uh, has a set timeout of four seconds in this case. It could be however long you want. Uh, and then it sets the location of this data colon blah, 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 blah. Um, which is a typical clickjacking attack um, once uh, you instantiate the data colon. Uh, and uh, the URL structure does look a little weird for them once they click on the, the link. I'll, I'll demonstrate it again here. Uh, it's got all that funky JavaScript stuff in here. Um, actually, technically, you could just load this with a ton of spaces or whatever, so it wouldn't be visible, but you get the idea. Um, so yeah, it looks like you can still do this stuff. Um, I kind of thought this was going to go away. I thought they weren't going to allow any sort of opacity like this. Uh, yeah, I, I thought I thought uh, the the permissions dialog wasn't supposed to be obscured like that, or at least when you click it, it wasn't supposed to allow you to have a camera and microphone access. Well, I got to tell you, <laughs> it worked. <laughs> um, <clears throat> yeah. I don't know if you found a zero day here or what. <laughs> so I think before we post this, we got to ask Adobe if we, because we don't want to accidentally zero day them again. Oh, <laughs> uh, why, Jer? <laughs> <laughs> Let's be polite about this. Painful disclosure. <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> yeah, it, 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 that is a weird vuln. Um, I'm not sure if it's actually really a vuln or not. Um, but you know, just. It took me about 20 minutes of trying to find something that I think is, you know, it is bad, whatever it is, whether it's a vuln or not. But so, whatever the case, you can still obscure um, the obscure um, the Adobe uh, dialogs, at least in Chrome. Uh, that's the only one that I tried that seemed to work. But uh, who knows? Excellent work. That's awesome. Demo time. <laughs> <laughs> Bonus footage. Bonus.